Hello again, this is Suzanne with Unruly Guides, and this is part five of using a free Gutenberg book to make a free or your own ebook master template. Now, when we left off, we were looking at CSS style sheets, and we also talked about fixing the image on your cover image. But what I want to look at now, which is the one of the most important things, is your table of contents. Now, if we look in book view, you can see that it's kind of messed up, and the way it was done, and most people do it, in a Word file, it was done in a table. Now, tables will work in Kindle and EPUB. They don't really work well. Also, since there are no page numbers, there's no point in even putting them there. You just want something that links. You also notice, remember, we had the one period which was something you know that they added but then they're adding it below and that kind of to me looks really confusing so what we want to do is we want to fix this up and just have a list of all your chapters in here now the easiest thing to do is to look at the page and we'll scroll to the top and you can see here where it says table we don't want any of that but I'm not going to have you do anything at the moment what we're going to do is go down to one of the long lines where it starts with an A. Now it has a class in there. We'll look and see what that class means later. But an A, usually A href, H R E F, which is the um, hypertext reference, tells you where it goes. Now you can see here that it's referencing a page called chapter1.xhtml, which we do have. And it's also pound i. Now there's that i that I had told you about. We'll go back to chapter and I'll show you. We had named it, see here it's id i. And it always goes to where the id is linking to. Now a is an anchor. Now I know this is all confusing. Like I said, in the book it will be all in there. What you need is it's linking to an id. Now, the easiest way to do this is see what they've done is they've made these all anchor links, and I think that's more confusing. You can keep it if you want. What we want them to do is we want to link it to where the actual page is. And since we're going to make each of these chapters their own page, this first one called Chapter 1 is all we need to know. So I'm just going to show you how to make a Chapter 1 table of contents, and then we can do the rest. So the first thing I'm going to do is everything from A and if you get the TD class, that's actually part of the table. Um, you may not have this, but you go A to A, and I'm going to copy that, which is Command C or Control C. Now, everything from after contents, this thing that says table, I'm going to highlight that whole thing, and I'm going to get rid of it, which is just before the horizontal rule, because it's just going to confuse me. Really, what a table of contents is is just an, a linking to the page just like a website. So I'm going to go Command V and I'm going to put it in. Now if you don't understand what I'm doing, I'm going to have it in the book and there's plenty of stuff on Unruly Guides that shows you how to make a link. Right now I don't know what this class is. I'm going to take it out because to me it's, I don't know what it is. It also has a span with a class. I like things on one line. I'm just putting it up there. I'm taking the span off. Out. So now I also need to take out the closing span. So you can see what I have here. I have an A well, bracket A space, space H R E F equals quote mark, period, period, slash mark text, which is up here, all the text. I'm linking to chapter one, which is the first chapter. And I don't need this pound I because I'm not going to anchor link it. Witchcraft. And so that I have my first thing. Now, A's need to be put in a paragraph tag. So you need to go P at the beginning and a closing paragraph at the end. So it goes paragraph, anchor, close anchor, close paragraph. You have now your first link and this is perfect. So you can go here and you can see that it's flush left. We'll fix it later. We're going to create our table of contents. Again, I always do this just to fix it every time. And you can see that if I click this, it would go to my witchcraft page. So we have our first table of contents. I'm going to show you in the next video, we'll finish it up, how to add the rest, um, and also how to add your chapters in there in your manuscript. Like I said, all this will be in a book that you can download and follow through, and it'll have all the videos as well. Um, thanks for listening, and I hope I'm not confusing you too much. Have a great day.